In this lecture, we will learn how to execute a shell script in a job when working with GitLab CI. Here, instead of editing the pipeline in the pipeline editor, we will go here to our code and then repository. And here we will go to edit and then we will open the web IDE. So here we find the files that we have in this repository. We have the .gitlabci.yaml file and the readme file. So let's open the .gitlabci.yaml file. Here we will go back to the previous workflow. So here we have these four stages and we have uh, these jobs, okay? Here to keep it simple, we will disable other jobs. We keep only uh, the build job. The same for the stages, we will keep only the build stage. So here we have only the build stage and we have the build job. In the build job, we will execute first of all, echo starting the build job. Then we will sleep for 10 seconds and finally we will echo build job completed. Here, instead of writing these commands here, we can write them in a shell script. And then here in the script section of the build job, we execute the shell script. So let's copy uh, these commands. We will add here a new file and we will call it build script dot sh. So first of all, we will add the header part of a shell script. And then we want to execute these commands. First of all, we will echo starting the build job. Then we will sleep for 10 seconds. And finally, we will echo build job completed. Now we will go back to the .gitlabci.yaml file. So here in the script section of the build job, we want to execute the shell script that we have created. So now let's commit the changes. So we have committed the changes successfully. Now, if we go back here to the repository, we find here that a pipeline was triggered. And now we have only the build stage. And in this build stage, we have only the build job. So here is the execution of the build job. And here the job was failed. And the reason is permission denied. So the executor of this job was not able to execute the build script dot sh. So here what you have to do is to change the permission of the basecap.sh to enable its execution. So here we will go back to the web IDE. And here we will add a before script section. So here we have something that we want to execute before the execution of the main script of the build job. Here, what we want to do is to change the permission of the build script.sh and we want to execute the ch mode command to enable the execution of the build script.sh.
So now when the pipeline was triggered, the before script of the build job will be executed first, and then it will move to the execution of the main script of the build job. So let's commit the changes. Now the changes was committed successfully. If we go back to the repository. So here, if we go to pipelines, we should find a new pipeline or trigger. So now the build job was completed uh, successfully. So the job starts first of all by executing the before script section. Here in the before script section, we execute the chmod command to change the permission of the build script.sh. And then it moves to the execution of the main script where we execute the build script.sh. So these messages comes from the execution of the build script.sh. So that's how we can execute a shell script in a job when working with GitLab CI. So I hope that everything is clear. Thank you very much and see you next time.